Good evening, Comet Sports fans. We are live from the Mason Multipurpose Complex. We have the Mason Comets taking on the Sycamore Aviators in this GMC Boys Lacrosse matchup. Sorry about that. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. However, we are back on. Score is Sycamore 2, Mason 0. Comets offense working the ball around. Henry Cooper with it. Dishes it over to Marietta. Eli Natorp going for the dodge. There's Lipinski with a shot just wide. Quinn Riley to take it off the back line. Mason will be man up for 30 seconds. Sycamore with the penalty push with possession. This Battle of the Skies matchup, historically, really good one. Top two teams in the GMC really every year for the past three, four years. Comets offense working around on this man up play. Cooper with the shot just wide. We've seen all season Mason likes to play fast. Work the ball around, get the defense confused. Get the shot. Here's Lipinski, thought about it. Over to Cooper. And a save by Aiden. Pretty. Blake Linderman with the save. Nick Maxwell dishes it to Marietta. And now Quinn Riley has it. Long pass to Lipinski. He's got space. Just outside the restraining box. We got about 540 left in the first quarter. Marietta with the dodge. Just high. Couldn't get it in there. Here's Eli Natorp. Marietta denied by Blake Linderman, the goalie, junior for the Aves. Sycamore on the clear. Gives it to Ryan Lynn, the sophomore. Second year on varsity. Leads the GMC in goals. It's Ryan Lynn. With the dodge. Lynn gets it back. A shot. Stopped by Ben Lowe. Ben LaPiccolo, the Catawba commit. Always a great goal to see. Here's Quinn Riley. Oh! <laughs> Quinn Riley over to Jeffrey Pitcher for the goal. And that would put the Comets on the board. We got three minutes and 58 seconds. One point game. Sycamore leads.
That was a great play by Mason offense, finding the open man on crease on the fast break. Jeffrey Pitcher gets his fourth goal of the season. Here's Aiden Nyheis, the freshman. Only freshman on varsity for the Comet squad. Cooper drops it. High pass to Aiden Nyheis. He's got plenty of room. He's now Marietta with the dodge guarded by Joey Monk. Jacob Lipinski with the ball. Twin of Tyler. Here's Cooper with the shot, just wide right. Lipinski will take it off the back of line. Two forty nine left in this first half. We'll give it to Eli Natorp, who dodges on Aiden Fleck, and Marietta. Let the ball go out of bounds. Hole retain possession because it was a shot. Comets offense working the ball around. Eli Natorp with a shot, but saved. Goalie Blake Linderman is having himself a night, letting in one goal off of four shots. A little bit of a scramble here between Marietta and Joey Monk. Marietta will get the ball. Sycamore calls a timeout. And head coaches Jeff Bumuller and Chris Mulligan talk about what they need to do. Sycamore has the lead 2-1. to one. Two minutes and three seconds left in this first half. Here's the Comet Tuttle. Timeout over. And Sycamore will have possession. Seth Truder with the ball. Intruder guarded by Bunch. Dishes it to Henry Wood, who has it. He's guarded by Nick Maxwell. High pressure from Wood. Sycamore offense trying to create an opportunity here. Good check by the Comets. And Sycamore still has the ball. Henry Wood will get it. 
just off the midline, almost went over into Quinn Riley's hands, but good defense by the Aviators. Wood to dodge on Maxwell. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be Sycamore ball. And here is Ryan Lynn. Double teamed by the Comets. Gets out of there. Nice little head turn. Tanner Levin, the junior guarding. Shot just wide. Bouncer. End of the first quarter. Sycamore leads 2-1. And we'll, we'll, we will be back. And we are back from the Mason multi-purpose field. Here's Ben Cravens to take the face off. Going against a long stick. Nyha is taking it down the field for the Mason offense. Dishes it to Riley. And now Tyler Lipinski will carry it across. Over to Henry Cooper. The Taylor University commit for lacrosse. Now Lipinski. Back to Cooper. And now Peter Marietta will dodge on Ryan Lynn. Dishes it to Pitcher on the crease for a Comet goal. Pitcher's second of the night. And that'll tie things up here. Mason two, Sycamore two. Jeffrey Pitcher, the junior first year varsity. Gets his fifth of his varsity career. Great assist by Peter Marietta. Nyhuis.
So the Pinsky Comets offense working around. Marietta with the shot denied. Here is Henry Cooper. Lipinski with a shot just wide left. Tyler Lipinski. Multi-sport athlete. You may recognize Tyler Lipinski's name from the basketball broadcasts. Two-sport varsity athlete. Now Lipinski going in, gets double teamed. Dishes it to the Albany commit, Peter Marietta. He gets checked, and Sycamore will have the ball. Sycamore's Garrett Brenkert. Pushed. The sophomore Matthew Goaded gets it, but sh short time with the ball as Mason gets it. And Tyler Lipinski back with it. Jacob Lipinski comes in as Gus Kleeman subs off. Lipinski with the dodge sweeps across to his brother Jacob and Comets will just work it around Henry Cooper good shot but saved by Sycamore's goalie Eight fourteen left in the second quarter. And Nick Maxwell with the cause turnover. Maxwell blown up. Sycamore bench getting hype about that one. Preston Pratt with the shot. The junior just played on in the JV game actually had himself a couple goals in there now Seth Truder over to Ryan Lynn back to Truder and Aiden Purdue Ian Getz shuts him down. Ryan Lynn gets an open look, but Gus Kleeman was able to get in there in time. <laughs> Gus Kleeman. Trying to get the pass off from Hayden Bunch. The deep hole taking it up. Sycamore will use their second timeout of the half. And they're done. Jeff Beemler still has not used any timeout for the Comets.
Now what the comments are probably saying in that huddle is just keep shooting, you know. Sycamore hasn't been guarding the crease very well all night. Jeffrey Pitcher with the two shots right on the doorstep. So that's what Jeff Beamler is probably saying on the Sycamore side. It's just keep forcing bad looks. Sycamore's offense has been playing great all night. So just we got we got a game here at the Mason Multipurpose Field. I just feel like both teams could just keep doing what they're doing and well the contest tonight. Mason being four and one, two and zero oh in the GMC, and Sycamore being three and zero, oh, two and zero oh in the GMC. Both are very high caliber teams in the state of Ohio. Sycamore beating Oak Hills, Fairfield, and Marymount. Mason with wins against Upper Arlington, um, Hudson, Lakota West, and here's Ryan Lynn. Comets with the quick clear. And Jeffrey Pitcher will get his third goal. Boom goes the dynamite. Jeffrey Pitcher's probably thinking as he gets the hat trick. Pitcher having himself a night. All three of the Comet goals coming from the junior. And the Comets take the lead here on this Tuesday night. Sycamore will win the faceoff. Henry Wood with the face-off win. He's going to do the Fogo motion, face-off, get off. Sycamore offense, working the ball around. A flag is down on the Comets defense. And Ryan Lynn will take the shot. But Chase Getty's got a hold of it. So it'll go high. But Sycamore will go man up. Comets man down defense includes Aiden Nyheis, Chase Getty's, Tanner Levin, Ethan Mathis. And Hayden Bunch, along with Ben LaPiccolo, in the goal. We'll see what the Sycamore defense can create here. Sycamore offense can create here. His comments are man down for one minute. Lynn thought about it. Fast passes, the typical man up. And there it is, Kyan Crook, the senior attackman for the goal for the Aviators. And we got a tie game here, 3-3. Three to three.
You know, you usually don't see games for the Mason Comets being this close. But the shaping out to be you know, whoever whoever scores the most games will win the game. Whoever scores the most goals will win the game. Cravens picks it up. And the Comets will call a timeout. Three minutes and 56 seconds left in the half tie game. Coach Jeff Bumiller probably getting a ton of his team. We really need to focus here if we want to get that GMC title for the fourth consecutive year. Sycamore has always been the great biggest competitor for the Comets, but Mason typically comes out on top. The Comets went undefeated last season. And a season-ending loss to Moeller in the state tournament is how the season ended. However, they did beat Moeller already this season. Marietta will give it to Pitcher. And here's Tyler Lipinski. Aiden Huss, first year varsity player, junior. The one handed grab by the Pinsky, that was uh that was impressive. Here's Jacob. Quinn Riley gets a good look on Crease. Stopped by the aviator goalie. High pass to Blake Linderman. And Sycamore will go on offense with Ryan Lynn with the ball. Pass goes out of bounds. Jacob Lipinski there to retrieve it. Eli Natorp with a shot just wide right. What? A shot and a goal scored by Gasu. Jeffrey Pitcher, the man himself, his fourth of the night. 154 left. We got a one point game. 4 3 comments. And we have Ben Cravens taking the face off for the comments. Cravens gets it out, and Aiden Nyhuis playing hockey with number 13, Aiden Purdue on Sycamore. And the grounder over to Henry Cooper.
Quinn Riley gets a turn and gets the goal. Great shot and a great feed right on the crease. That's, that's pretty much where all of the Comets goals have been. 5-3 is the score in this contest. And we're about to head into the second half in about a minute. Excited for that action where we have our 10th face off of the night. Cravens with the dub on the face off. Gets it to his defense. Hayden Bunch to take it up. Guarded by Matthew Goad. And Tyler Lipinski has the ball on the Comets attack. Great face off win by Ben Cravens. Just dishes it out to get it to his defense to run the proper clear. Marietta. Thought about the dodge. Here's Torp with a dodge. Eli Natorp gets it over to Lipinski. Lipinski with the sidearm pass. Into the aviator stick. Henry Cooper with the wraparound check. Yard sailed him. And I know Ryan Lynn is not too happy about that one. Merida with the bouncer just high. Over. That shot goes over Blake Linderman's head. And that's the end of the half here at the Mason Multipurpose Complex. Going into the third quarter, your score, Comets 5, Aviators 3. We'll be back.
and we are back at the Mason Multipurpose Field for second half action. Change the quarter real quick. And Mason will start with Aiden Nice taking it up the field. Freshman on varsity. Typically in middle school, he has been more on the offensive side. However, once he gets to high school, Coach Bumler put him on varsity to be a D midi, and now he is starting. Marietta to dodge. Couldn't get a look, so dishes it back out to Jeffrey Pitcher. Comets offense works the ball around. Almost intercepted. Marietta with a shot just off of the aviator goal's chest. Long pass. And Preston Pratt will fall to the ground. Here's Pitcher, spins. Inaccurate pass to Knee Torp, but he picks it up. It's Lipinski dodging from low. And the Sycamore goalie having a night, letting in five goals on 12 shots. That's a pretty good save rate if you ask me. Nine minutes, 48 seconds left in this Tuesday night thriller. Ryan Lynn will hold the ball as Sycamore gets their offense set up. Over to Seth Truder, who will dish it down to the attack. Clan Crook. And Hayden Bunch with the cause turnover. Hayden Bunch, before this game, fourth in the GMC for cause turnovers. That number is at 12. Looks like Mason's going to be man down here. See what the call is. Penalty is tripping against Hayden Bunch, number eight, the junior second year varsity. We got Garrett Brenkert, the long stick, playing offense, takes a shot. La Piccolo. It was just left, but La Piccolo was ready for it. Sycamore has possession. Or Mason has possession. Jacob Lipinski saved. Tyler Pinsky with the shot off the goalie's foot. And 
not too well versed in sycamore lacrosse, but this goalie having a night. as Sycamore gets set and Mason will sub on defensive middies Nick Maxwell and Nick Maxwell and Ian Getz bunch high pressure Ryan Lynn's going to feel those checks tomorrow just yeah. know that one hurt from personal experiences And Nick Maxwell drops the stick as he gets dodged on, but Sycamore couldn't get a goal off of the man up opportunity. Aiden Purdue working the ball to the behind the goal at X. 6.20 left in the third quarter. Is that pass dropped by Aiden Purdue. Nick Maxwell comes to pick it up. Ethan Mathis tries the no look uh, catch but gets the ground ball off of the drop Here's Huss. Down to the attack. As Gavin Kruger checks into the game. Drops it, controls it, and then not adding too much pressure on it. Knows Huss is a dangerous weapon on offense. And Eli Natort with the dodge takes it down to X. Lipinski creating space. It's Gavin Kruger with the shot. Left. Comments retain possession. Kruger down to Lipinski. Now pitcher working around the crease. Pitcher with the diving shot. And the Comets will go man up. And there goes Jeffrey Pitcher. He has five points and now draws the penalty to create a goal scoring opportunity for the Mason Comets. Lipinski, Marietta, other Lipinski, Cooper, and Natorp on the play. Riley gets a look. Decides not to play selfish. Gives it to Marietta, who will then give it to Cooper. Marietta gets it back. Riley, Lipinski, Riley. Lipinski, Lipinski, Jacob. An amazing save by the Sycamore goalie. He's not letting anything in tonight. As the youngins would say, have a night, Blake Linderman. Three fifty-five left in this third. Period as Marietta off the pipe can't get it to go. Cooper to Riley 
just wide right. Comets need to start placing their shots if they want to win this game. However, they are creating the opportunity. Double the amount of shots on goal. Cooper, Cooper with the ground ball. Whiz bang. Deep shot, sniper, grounder, and gets the goal. Cooper will get his first. Now Cravens will take the field. The face off. three-point game here in this third quarter. Mason leads six to three. We got 319 left in the third quarter. Aiden Huss Dishes it over. Nator and Lipinski at attack. Haas will dodge. The dodge on Joey Monk. Kind of get the look. Kruger, Lipinski. Good catch by Kruger. Almost hits the ref. Lipinski a little upset about that one. Might have said something about the ref there. Maybe get out of the way. Pass over Lipinski's head. Sycamore to clear. And Joey Monk. Gets double teamed. Oh! And the ref calls push in the back. Fans not happy about that call at all, but that's what happens when you're triple team. Sycamore man up. Seth Trader. Over to Garrett Brenker. Which you don't see a long stick playing offense in the high school lacrosse world really at all unless unless you're clearing the ball. But but Garrett has been a sycamore defender who call him a long stick midi who plays offense. Gettys. And the refs blow the whistle. Mason will call a timeout. We're going to take a quick break. And we will see you after.
and we are back. A minute 35 left in this third quarter. Mason with the free clear. Marietta to take it up. Marietta dodges. Thought about dodging. Does not dodge that. Riley, Marietta, and Cooper. Lepinski to dodge. Gets one for himself. Tyler Lepinski with the goal. A sophomore. And that's a, that's a great shot. Sneaking. Around the goalie's hip. Ravens gets the ground ball stripped away by Sycamore defenders. Now 10-11. We'll add some pressure. Makes him throw a bad pass, but Sycamore still has possession. Seth Truder. Holds the ball, waiting for the opportunity. He's dodging against Nyhuis. Double teamed by Bunch and Nyhuis. And here's Lynn. Back to Purdue. Purdue loses it after the overhead check by Nick Maxwell. Hayden Bunch whips it across the field and that'll be the end of the third quarter. We're gonna take a quick break. We will see you after. Welcome back for the final 12 minutes of action here at the Mason Multipurpose Field. If you're just joining us, we have Sycamore and Mason for GMC Boys Across. Your score is 7, Comet 7, Aviators 3 in this fourth quarter. Nyhuis will pick the ball up, gives it over to the defense to clear.
scoreboard should be fixed now. Here's Huss. Comets defense working it around the field. Here's Eli Nator, wraps around. And it's a goal. No, it's a save. Comets fans do not like that one. But ultimately, the referee has the best view. Can't argue with that. Comets possession. <laughs> that was Gus Kleeman with the shot from midfield. His goalie wasn't in the net. Couldn't get it to go, though. Just got to take advantage. When the goalie isn't in net, shoot it right away. Don't wait for the opportunity to pass it to Riley and have a chance at the goalie saving it. Mathis. Tight pressure on Aiden Fleck, sophomore. Aiden Fleck is usually a defender, but we have a timeout on the field. We're going to take another break in the fourth quarter. 7 3 year score, 9.52 left. We'll be back. We're back. We're going to have a special guest joining us on the broadcast here shortly. You've seen him on the broadcast will return shortly screen. Andrew Little cleaning up from working the track meet. Here's Kleeman. Over to Natorp. And Lipinski has it at the top, gives it over to Henry Cooper. And the Albany commit, Peter Marietta, will check back into the game. Comets having very long passes here, really stretching the defense. And the Pins Tyler Lipinski, bouncer over the goal for second time. Natorp. Cooper fumbles with it. Ultimately gets the ball. He'll carry it down. As Jeffrey Pitcher comes up. Cooper dodges from X. Learned that one from the Scherzinger boys. Lipinski. Shot and a goal. Tyler Lipinski gets his second goal of the night. 8-3. 
Mason. And now we have special guest joining us, Andrew Little. Cravens take the face off. Thanks to Owen Hurley for giving us being the one-man show today on the mic. This is Andrew Little. Uh, it's been a busy night in Comet Country. Baseball game, softball game, middle school track meet, boys lacrosse, now with a big lead. And Owen did a great job bringing all the action. You know, and for a little bit, it looks like the Sycamore, the Sycamore Aviators were giving the Comets a run for their money in that first quarter. What's been the offense? What's, what changed on offense for the Comets? Yeah, I think it's just they've been creating better opportunities on goal. They've been shooting the ball really all game, but maybe not the best shot. So they've been working the ball around, not really forcing the first shot, making the defense play defense and getting the goal. And now Aiden Huss will put the Comets for another one on the board. His first of the night. The junior, his first year on varsity, add to the Comets lead. Now they lead by six, 731 left in the game. Sycamore wins the faceoff. Comets on offense, Jacob Lipinski. Pass to, to Huss. And now Gavin Kruger gets the ball taken away by Sycamore defense. Jeffrey Pitcher got on the ground there. Couldn't come away with the ground ball. The Aviators with a good opportunity here. Shot off the mark. It's from Goaty. Aviators only have six shots on goal, three points. The Piccolo with a 50% save rate. Pretty good for a lacrosse goalie. As the Piccolo, the Comets defense will clear, fakes out. Anderson gets all the way down the field. Now Nate Torp in the corner, and yeah, a lot of a lot of firepower from this junior class. A shot fired in from Quinn Riley, who has a goal on the night. As you said, junior class really stepping up here. And that makes sense because um, key defender Gavin Scott out for the season, foot injury. Colin Billhorn, who's a key attackman, two year varsity starter, is out also. Both really good seniors on the Comet offense and defense. As the Comets will get a goal, that one from Eli Natorp. Natorp, his third year on varsity, extends the Comet lead to seven. And Natorp having a fantastic season so far. Leading the Comets in goals, now has 12. Up in the double digits, that's an impressive feat. Cravens to take the face off. He's been having a night. Only losing about 
three face-offs. As that one will be procedure on Sycamore. Nia has to pick it up. 5.09 left in the game. Comets will take a shot attempt. It was Tyler Lupinski. They get it back. And Nate Torp moving around. Comets working around the goal. Nate Torp. Inside of Marietta takes a big hit. Aviators headed the other way. Brinkert loses it. Fighting for the ground ball. It's Jacob Lupinski. And now Eli Natorp with a shot in just off target. It's the second time they've done a Sycamore goalie. Out of goal, they just need to get that quick shot off. But unfortunately, when you're trying to do that, shots become way less accurate. Ball gets on the ground. Natorp. Aiden Bolt fumbles it. Bolt and Natorp battling for the ground ball. And Bogan comes in with a big hit. A timeout for the Aviators. 344 remaining in the game. Comet starting to pull have pulled away in this one. Jeff Beamler. Head coach of the Mason Comets slowly starting to put a, put in the non-starters as Comets are really pulling away with this one. Yep, yeah, as we look ahead, Comets face off at Fairfield this Thursday. For a little bit of a reference, they played the Aviators last week on Thursday, 12 to 2 loss. So that's a another conference matchup coming up for the Fairfield Indians, and then Saturday. Mason with another away game at Springboro and then next and then Tuesday at Lakota East and then it's not until next Thursday on the 18th that they're back at home that's against Oak Hill so a three game road trip coming up for Mason and a win here in the Battle of the Skies it's a great momentum starter yeah Mason pretty excited for that Fairfield game coming up and the GMC Fairfield is ranked last, which, you know, usually it's, usually it's Oak Hills who's far down there, but Oak Hills does have a pretty good squad this year. They have a winning record currently. Yeah, Oak, Oak Hills had strong season basketball as well. And Sycamore will get one. From number 20, Preston Pratt. Mason fans think it's offsides. We'll wait to see what the refs does. Talking about it. They bring in the third official here. So we wait the decision. 3.30 on the clock. As a ref, offside's one of, the, one of the harder calls to keep track of as you're trying to keep up with pace of the game. So, yeah. unfortunately, offside's goals happen more than you would think. And it was a quick play there. On the Sycamore clear, that's Garrett Bernker, who's been playing a lot of offense all day today. Which is, you know, I've said it before, but it is, you just don't see long sticks on offense in the game of lacrosse. And the goal will be counted as offsides. So no goal from Sycamore. Yep, and Comet. Catch a break there. They're headed the other way as this game winds down. Chase Harpold 
is now the goalie, the sophomore, who splits time in JV. Emerson Bikey gets the pass off to Huss, and Pitcher gets his fifth of the night. But what a game for Jeffrey Pitcher. Five goals. And three goals in his career coming into this game. His career high in a game was one. He had one against East, one against Upper Arlington, one against Hudson. And now that experience coming in big time with five goals in a breakout game, taking advantage of the absence of some key guys like Colin Billhorn and really stepping up. Right, usually pitcher doesn't start for the Comets. That could change after the night he's having. Has been a key player in the Comets offense all season. Yep, just another offensive threat Mason has. The Aviators have struggled to shut down as we've got another. It's Parker Vaughn, number 34, with the ball. JV Bench is getting hyped for Parker Vaughn. It is his first year as a Mason High School lacrosse player. Took a little bit of a break, but he has had a lacrosse background in middle school. So first year varsity player. And that's Lipinski with the shot. Bouncer. Him and his brother have been shooting a lot of bouncers tonight. That have just gone high. That's the thing. They've had a lot of away games. And the turf is different at each one, including this past weekend they had a trip from Upper Arlington. And then they went to Hudson in Cleveland, Ohio the next day. So a lot of different fields. Yeah, it was a grueling past couple of games for Mason. Then coming in to a rivalry game against Sycamore. Can probably credit that for the slow start. But they have picked up where they left off in their 9 6 win against Hudson. Comets were undefeated last season, not including the MSLA tournament, with the loss to Western Reserve. This season already having lost to Upper Arlington. Might hurt them ranking wise, but they are still ranked third in Ohio, according to Max Preps. About a minute 19 left in this game. Comets hold eight point lead. And if the Comets get back on offense, I can see them just waiting it out, celebrating the big victory. For Chase Harpold gets attacked by the Comets. Then they get your goal of tradition. Lynn thought about it, dishes it over. Gets it after the full rotation. A shot just high. Harpold was ready for that one. Yep. And that shot had too much mustard on it. Sent all the way to the scoreboard. Clock resumes. Under a minute to go. Lynn with another thought about it. Over to Trader. Yep, and Bikey on defense came up and prevented the shot attempt. Biking number 31, his first year on varsity is swinging JV. That's what you see, 31, 32, with these underclassmen, high numbers. And Clan Crook shot just left. Stick with the aviator possession due to Preston Pratt's at X. And this one's closing out. 15 seconds on the clock. Been calling Young. Sports Radio member runs onto the field. Sycamore making a last 
chance, and they get it. That is Seth Truder on the goal. And 12 or 11 for Aviators. Okay. Seth Truder led the Aviators on football team this year, led the GMC in passing, and gets a goal there. Scoreboard operator is not updated it, but. And Maxwell to take the face off, and that'll do it here at the Mason Multi Purpose Field. The team will celebrate with Chase Harpold. Only let one goal in. Pretty good for the sophomore. Taking Ben LaPiccolo's spot. And the Comets move to five and one. And three and zero oh in the GMC. Yep. Thursday they will face off against Fairfield in an away battle. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I've been Andrew Little here these last few minutes.